hey everybody and welcome back to our channel in today's video we are going to show you how to fix suspension here on google merchant center let's begin if your google merchant center account has been suspended it typically indicates a violation of google's policies so resolving of the suspension involves understanding the issue addressing it and of course submitting your account for review now once you are logged in to your Google Merchant Center account, I want you to hover to the account issues, right? If you have that, normally you would find it in the diagnostics section, all right? And then all I have to do is review the listed issues in the associated policies that were violated. Common reasons includes misrepresentation of products or services, missing or inaccurate product data, website policy violations, restricted or prohibited products. How would you know it? When you go to the overview, you would notice you will be given a lot of um, notifications such as this one. If you have maybe violated any, uh, anything here. For example, I have so many um, issues right now. If you click this button, you would find a tab that says needs attention all right so one of the options is to improve your product discoverability so some products might have missing inaccurate product details so you might want to find all the products that needs to be uh fixed here because if um there had been a misrepresentation of products or services or missing or inaccurate product data that could lead to your account's suspension all right so in my case i have two of them I need to confirm you see this i'm going to click this one i need to confirm the online store for example if you are having the similar issues just click this claim your website and all i have to do is just enter your online store you just have to verify that you're you are the one um running the store or the store owner by getting a code sent to your business email or use your e-commerce platform or add an HTML tag or file, or you can use your Google Tag Manager depending on the preferences. The thing is, if you are verifying your store Google Tag Manager, you might want to make sure you have an access admin for that, especially if you're working with a client. All right, so we're going to get that canceled, and then here in my products that may have misrepresented a service, you might want to make sure that all of the attention uh, has been addressed like here missing tax information missing tax information and fix all of these right now another option that you can go into is you want to make sure that you need to understand and carefully read the google's policies including the uh, shopping ads policies all right and again from your enter website product feed and business practices should comply with these policies not only with the uh, shopping ads policies you might want to hover again also to the merchant centers guidelines and i really need you to understand the policies here want to make sure that the website the product feed and the basis practices comply with these policies all right and then from here you also need to make sure that the product data issues has been addressed because you need to correct inaccurate or missing product attributes in your feed like for example availability j10 or remove prohibited products if listed such as weapon knife and ensure all products comply with the google's product data specification and you have all of these under the google merchant center help all right you also have the product data specs if you wanted to know more about it because of the misrepresentation of products or services right here can avoid misleading claims or promotional tags accurately represent your products and business practices and you can you need to use the high quality images and detailed product descriptions all right you also want to make sure to double check your feeds website tool to validate your feed before re-uploading and the last option is going to be submitting an appeal if you go here at your google merchant center there should be an option here to contact the google merchants customer supports center all right
click the help button here on the upper right corner click the contact us option and again all you have to do is put in your concern type in next right here account suspension and there should be an option here for the next step all right be thorough with your explanation and highlight the specific changes click on the next step and from here these are going to be your options send an email all right one of the uh, customer support staff will review your uh, concern google typically responds to appeals within few business days but can take longer and of course you just have to monitor your email and merchant center account for updates all right and of course um once it has been resolved to prevent future suspensions you need to regularly audit your product feed and website for compliance stay updated for the google policies and guidelines and ensure that you use this google merchant center alerts to address issues proactively thank you so much for watching we will see you again in the next video